a lot of information out there about the coronavirus. So we wanted to make this video to give you the do's and don'ts about the coronavirus. Close contact. Close contact should stay away from a person with symptoms as much as possible. Make sure shared space have air, a good airflow near an air conditioner open window. The symptoms of coronavirus are common signs of infection, fever, cough, diarrhea, shortness of breath, breathing difficulties, gastrointestinal systems. Severe cases get pneumonia, a severe acute respiratory symptom, kidney failure, even death. Treatment, no vaccines or antibacterial drugs available yet. Symptoms can be treated. Face masks. Although many people have purchased face masks as a way of fending off infectious diseases, no public health agency has recommended that the general public use them yet. Use of a face mask is if you are together with a person with symptoms and in the same room. Influenza B and B viruses travel through the air in droplets when someone with the infection coughs, sneezes, or talks. Surgical type masks may help block airborne influenza germs, and they may also prevent the transmission of germs from your hands to your face or your mouth or your nose. If you have facial hair, microscopic pathogens will be able to sneak through the tiny passages made by hairs. Hand washing. One, washing hands frequently or use hand sanitizer. Two, avoid sharing household items such as cups or dishes, towels, and bedding. Three, wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If you really can't get to soap and water, then use a hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol. Four, can't wash your hands right away? Avoid touching your mouth, nose, and eyes, as these are areas where the pathogens can grow. Number one, wet hands. Two, use liquid soap. Three, lather, rub, and count to 15. Four, rinse. Dry with a towel or air dry hands. Fix. Turn off the taps with the towel or your sleeve. High touch surfaces. Clean all high touch surfaces like countertops and door handles, phone and computer keyboards, toilets and bathroom fixtures. Very important. When in public, do not stand close to people who are sick. That may mean taking the stairs rather than an elevator. If you take an elevator, try not to touch buttons with your fingers. They are also true for other objects or service that other people may touch. Clean and disinfect these areas if you can. Otherwise, avoid touching them. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, either using a tissue or your elbow. Throw used tissues in the trash right away. When to call a doctor. People in close contact with those with the virus should monitor their health and should call a health care provider right away if they've developed symptoms such as severe cough or shortness of breath. Be careful out there. Please share, subscribe, and like. We're trying to get you all the latest information on this problem that's becoming bigger and bigger every day. So see you on the next video. Again, please like, share this valuable information with everybody on your email list.